you new to my channel, I make travel and lifestyle vlogs, music content, and I pretty much just talk to you guys about whatever's on my mind. So, with that being said, I've wanted to talk to you guys today about why I do not want kids. Uh, it's sort of a touchy subject just because my family wants me to have kids. Um, currently 25 right now and I turned 26 this month at the end of April, Tara season. But no, I turned 26 and for a whole year now, I've been thinking about how, how my life is gonna go for like going into my 30s now. And honestly, I just don't see kids uh, in that space. And I'll tell you why. But first, I just wanna let you know, I come from a big family. My grandfather raised eight kids. Uh, seven was his own kids, and then he raised one of uh, like cousins or whatever. But so eight kids, right? And every one of my uncles, they have at least, well, besides one of them have at least two to three kids. Um, you know, my mom did have some miscarriages, but that's gonna be, I was gonna have six siblings of myself. Uh, I only have two now, but nonetheless, my family is huge, is what I'm saying. And they want me, obviously, to have kids. You know, all of my male cousins that are my age and above have kids. And they have three, three to five. Every one of them. I, don't, I only have about seven male cousins just because it's mostly women in my family, but the male cousins that I have, they each have three to four kids. So with that being said, I just wanted to preface with that, but there's certain reasons why I don't feel like kids are in my plan personally. Um, first, I just want to say, some people have called me a Vagabond or like a, what do you call it? You know, just like a hippie or a traveler. I'm always wanderlust. You know what I mean? I'm I'm always moving. Like you probably, you guys can probably tell it, but I'm always moving. And having a kid right now, like I see all of my peers again having kids, getting married, and down the traditional path. And there's nothing wrong with that, but. I just, I feel like I move around too much to have a kid. Like, thing about me is right now, if I had a kid, I would want to be the best father I could be. All right, rightfully so. And if I was to have a kid, I would stop. I would pretty much right now stop traveling until like even after the kid was born, even like probably at least to two, at least until the kid gets two to where I feel comfortable traveling, all right? unless it was like for work or anything like that. So I just move around too much, you know what I mean? To give up traveling for a kid, and there's no offense to anybody who has kids or anybody who's about to have a kid or anything like that, uh, just to preface that. But, you know, I can't imagine like me staying in hostels and different Airbnbs and different things like that. To me have a son or daughter right now, to put a stop to that would just be like, not to be drastic, but it'd be kind of be devastating because like, again, I just love moving around. You know, I'm, not, I'm never in the same place like more than a couple of weeks. Yeah, even even right now, the, the job I'm at right now with my career, you know, I'm still traveling, driving around, driving to different like places to hike and all that. Like, again, I'm, I'm never in the same place. So that this is one reason why, and, and a, a big reason why I wouldn't want kids right now. Another reason would be is the cost. Now, it feels very, and by the way, I'm not married right now as well. So, but I'll get into that later. Um, yeah, the cost of it, the average kid, I mean, I'm saying one kid, but I have twins in my mom's side and I have twins on my, my dad's side. So I feel like if I had kids, it wouldn't just be one kid, it'd probably be twins. So you're talking about double the cost right now, which I'm not gonna lie, it's, I feel like it's kind of expensive taking care of myself sometimes, like <laughs> especially eating plant-based and stuff. Like I feel like it's expensive on myself, you know, living by myself, paying rent, like it, it, 
Yeah, no, like mm-hmm. having twins right now, bro. I always say this, you know, I couldn't imagine having to raise kids during the pandemic, like when we were fresh in the pandemic, like 2020, like that was, I got laid off and different things. That was such a, uh, I guess you say a rough year that I, I don't know how I would have survived. But again, thankfully, you know, I'm in a position now where I can take care of myself and be comfortable. But raising the kid to 18, and I know I say 18, but most kids stay with, most kids, most kids stay with their parents until 25, uh, 22, some stay, some stay until they're 30, in their 30s. So it's not like, it's not like you just raise them until you're 18, all right, boom, kick them out the house, and bother gone. Like, no, it's, it's beyond that, right? So that's the second reason is, is the cost. You know, and not only, not only the cost for like diapers and formula and baby food and this and that, but it's the, the daycare, it's the school, it's the private, because I don't want to put them in private school. It's the, the food, you know what I mean? Kids eat a lot, you know what I'm saying? So it's like just all those individual costs, saving for college, you know, all those individual costs work. I mean, you can call me selfish if you want, that's fine. I really don't care, but I really don't care. But I can use that money. Just say the average cost to raise a kid is 250000 over 18 years. That could go to me. That could go to my, my retirement, my Roth IRA. You know, that could go to my um, my brokerage account. That could go to my stocks and all this stuff like that. So, no, like, no, I'm, I'm good on that as far as the cost. I think another reason is, like, I know, I know I'd be good with kids. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, every time I go around my, um, my cousin's kids, they call me like, hey, Uncle Mac, and, you know, and they're always playing with me and, you know, like, sometimes the adults say I'm like, I'm a big kid, like, cause kids just kinda like, it's just cool being around kids. I know I said that, but it's cool being around kids and then dropping them off. We said it again, it's cool being around kids, but at the end of the day, I get to drop them off. Uh, at one point, me and, so I was engaged at one point. So me and my fiance used to babysit uh, some of my kids in my family and whatever. And let's just say like in those moments, I kind of got to see like, oh, okay. So this is what it would be like if we actually had kids. And I just wasn't, I just wasn't, uh, I don't know. I guess it was like, okay, this is, this shit is real. So I guess I wasn't ready for it at the time, you know? And again, I know I'd make a great father. Like I, I know that for sure. It's just kids these days now, man, you know, with the, again, the rise of social media, like one of my friends is a teacher and uh, like, he'll tell me like, yo, the kid did this. Or he told me about a month ago, uh, one of the kids got, I don't think I'd expelled or detention this girl, literally, and these are middle schoolers now. These are middle schoolers. They were in the cafeteria and she pulled out his pants and started, yeah, to him, right there in the cafeteria with everybody looking. So like, yeah, these, these kids nowadays, man, I, you know, my mother and father were, my father was, you know, disciplinary action for me like he didn't even have to touch me he just had to look at me give me that look and I was already like all right all right let me chill out you know my mom was more of like hands-on grab a switch a belt type of thing but you know I know you can't beat your kids not saying that I want to but you know um that's just something for me like I would want to you know discipline my kids and some parents right now feel like you shouldn't be doing that and it's day and age and no I'm, I'm good on that um, I think another reason is like how can I say this another reason is the fact that the responsibility of it I think that's a huge like even before the money and before the responsibility like a lot of people again peers my my age that I see having kids I don't think they're now maybe I could just be projecting but I just don't think they're they're not ready, you know, in a sense of like, 
you see them always complaining. That's what I mean. You always see people complaining like, oh, these kids, I gotta take care of these kids. Like, if you if you didn't want kids, like, don't have them. And I know that's easier said than done because sometimes it's a mishap and sometimes you didn't know this happened. And, you know, uh, certain things happen, so I understand that. But from the people I know, they're always complaining about their kids. They're always trying to find babysitters. They're always trying to push them off to the grandmother or grandparent or to siblings. Like, I have two sisters right now who both want kids. So it's like, I'll be a great uncle, like, cool. Like, I'll spoil my nieces and nephews, like, that's great. But at the end of the day, they're not technically mine. So again, I can just drop them back off. But being mine, like, again, that's just a different responsibility. And I don't, I just don't think I'm ready for it. And I think one of the final reasons is the way that the world is today, not just with COVID. I mean, that was really like an eye opener, but certain things that's going on right now, I I wouldn't, I just wouldn't want to, you know, with so much deception and trickery and I would not want to bring a kid in today's age and have to kind of guide them, you know, on a certain path. I just wouldn't want to do it. It's so much, it's, it's a lot going on and uh, I would not recommend it. I mean, thankfully my father and mother raised me right, which right and wrong is subjective, but right to whatever me, my morals, my principles, but I, I wouldn't want to do that. You know, I don't want the responsibility. And plus, I, I, I'll admit, I am selfish. I like being able to buy myself clothes, buy myself food, pay for my own truck. Well, my truck is paid off, but pay for my own gas um, and do the things that cater to me. And again, I know that sounds selfish, but I just got to be honest. Like, I love doing those things. And again, I'm not married right now. I know I said I'll talk about that later. I'm not married right now, and so um, that's another thing. I have not found, again, I was engaged, but beyond that, I'm, I haven't found like the right woman I want to marry enough to be like, hey, let's have kids. And like, let's just say I'm cautious when it comes to certain things to make sure I don't have kids. I'll leave it at that. I'll keep it PG. Um, I'm cautious when it comes to certain things. So like, I try to make sure like, no, you know, there's no possibility of me having it because this, but um, no, man, I mean, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because I, I'm kind of feeling pressure for my family. It's like, it's not necessarily a spoken pressure. Well, some of my family called me and say, hey, like you got married yet, you know, have you, found that person you know have you, have you have you got married and i'm like no i haven't which is none of their business but i'm like no i haven't and then the second question is well like when are you gonna have kids because you're about to be 26 and like of course my mom is like i want some grandchildren and every time she says that i'm like hey my sisters they both want kids like one sister she wants five kids no she wants six kids the other one wants two kids so it's like my dog you'll have plenty of of um you'll have plenty of grandchildren and that's great it's just again i'll be that uncle that i'll be that bachelor pretty much you know what i mean if i don't get married be that bachelor not married no kids really just living my life traveling like i'll be that you know what i'm saying and i'm fine with that i'm i'm perfectly fine with that and plus like i'm i'm too career driven right now like i'm i'm focused on my career and trying to and trying to get that set up, you know, and again, be financially independent by my thirties, you know, with again, stocks, NFTs, retirement, things like that. So I just wouldn't have the time. And plus he's enough responsibility by himself. Like this dog eats more food than, he's two years old and 75 pounds. He eats a lot, more than me. So, <laughs> so he's enough right now, but, um, I want you guys to comment below if you guys agree, disagree with my thoughts and opinions. If you guys have reasons of why I should have kids or why you have kids or reasons you agree with me of not having them, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. But I'll see you guys in the next video and mix be out.